for instructors with the Black Sea Rotational Force 2011. Just stand anywhere that you can see, okay? Listening to those they teach often provides additional avenues of instruction. While the team of Marines do most of the talking. And they're just going to continue to go around here doing like we talked about. Their Georgian students are listening intently and providing excellent feedback. Okay, yeah. Of course. During the convoy security training, Corporal James Venables makes clear the importance of fives and twenty-fives. I don't care how they move. The important thing is that they sweep the area for bombs. Although language can be a barrier, once overcome, the payoff is immediate. It's rewarding working with these guys. Everyone really understands the same concepts pretty much. Really, there's only a few differences in training and SOPs. But it's, uh, it's good to you know, build their toolbox and ours with, uh, with new skill sets and new stuff to do. Once the instruction is complete, the combined forces move out to actual convoy movements. Up ahead, Sergeant Rodney Pierce is preparing the area for some realistic scenarios. We'll use that one and we'll use the mortar, uh, the mortar round that we just used. The plan is to set up uh, multiple IEDs for a multiple IED strike. Uh, bury a uh, mortar round right here, attached to receiver and battery. What we're hoping is that they uh, notice the indicators and that they uh, react based on that. Eventually, the convoy appears. The teams use the training from earlier in the day, then gather for some feedback, both U.S. and Georgian. Good job. Good job. In the end, Sergeant Pierce reminds us all what training is all about. I hope that this training right here provides them with skills that they need during combat, that they'll survive it, just knowing that my uh, brothers have a better chance of making it through. Air Force Master Sergeant Chris Stone, Tbilisi, Republic of Georgia.